Hello everybody, my name is Nyan. I'm the black female engineer at Fried Content for New and aspiring software engineers. And today we are going over what my portfolio looked like when I was going through coding bootcamp is also the projects I used to apply to jobs. And I just want to provide you with just some insight of, um, yeah, what you can expect a project to be. I definitely did not have the best projects of my boot camp that I know that to be true, but I also like to think I didn't have the worst. I also want to say that I was applying for junior level roles. I was not applying for the, you know, senior manager position <laughs> like like i was applying for entry level roles so just keep that in mind but yeah let's look at them so this is the first web app me and a partner created it was called mince it was a recipe type app where kind of like in all recipes where you had different recipes here but you could also search based on the main ingredient you wanted. So let's say you wanted a lamb dish. Then it would provide all of these search results for you and all of that. And then if you picked one, let's say lamb ribeye, then it would go to this landing page where it showed the list of ingredients that were needed and you could add different ingredients to like your shopping cart. And so let's say I needed the ribeye, the honey, and the powder. And so I could add it to my favorites as well, and then go to my profile. And then now you see favorite recipes and then my shopping list so butter ribeye honey powder there's another recipe in here from a previous and i have not been in here i have not opened to this app in months and so there's another entry in here for favorites but yeah then you can go let's see if we went back to the ribeyes that's what we had yes then you can go to full recipe and then see the full recipe breakdown, the directions, and all of that. And so if we go back to the home page, then, yeah, we'd be brought to a quick sample of nine different recipes. And so let's say you wanted to pick something from here, from the actual sample list. This only needs three. Let's go to full recipe. Taking a hot minute to load. But this also used the, I don't know how to pronounce it. It was the Edamame API. I will add a link to it below. It was actually, okay, so this is taking a hot minute to load. So let's do a different one. But yeah, that API was actually very helpful. It had thousands of recipes that we got to pull from. Let's try to go to this full recipe there. So yeah, that's that one. That is mince. So the next app created was called Piggy, a financial literacy slash helper app. So let's log in here. So users could log in and start tracking their expenses. So let's say your rent is $1,500. Let's say you have a food and you spent $500 on that this month and also went to restaurant. <laughs> um, and spent, let's say, 100 on that and some shopping shopping for you went crazy you went buck wild hence the financial literacy helper here and let's add just some um, savings let's be responsible adult and put 500 in our savings this month and so our total expenses were $3,400 and it lists them out all over here. And then down here, you could see the breakdown in terms of proportions. So 
44% was spent on rent, 14.7 on savings, shopping was over 20%, food, and then the least amount was restaurants at 2.9%. And so then you could go down here and just see a couple of articles for, yeah, financial literacy. So let's see how to build up your credit because $400 shopping, man. And so you can go through these articles and all of that. Then getting back here, you can just see everything all over again. So a very simple app focused on more just financial tracking and learning and calling it a day from there. Then we log out and boom. Then lastly was the app I Can't Breathe. It was a progressive web app, which means that it was compatible with mobile devices and also you could directly download it onto your mobile device and use it without internet connection and all of that. Those who know me know I am very passionate about activism and making strides for a more equitable and just world and country. And so I created this app because of that. And overall, the landing page is multiple individuals who have been the victim of police brutality or racist driven attacks, which has resulted in their death. And so if we go to one individual, John Crawford III, we can see how old he was and the location in which these events transpired along with what happened a more detailed synopsis of what happened along with the aftermath in regards to any repercussions that the police officer or officers faced if they went to jail if they were even indicted etc you could select to donate if I click that, it will go to his GoFundMe page and his family's GoFundMe page. If you click sign a petition, then it would go to the relevant petitions. And you could also, through this app, choose to look at some resources aimed at hopefully educating yourself and just backtracking some biases you might have. So books, if you select Sister Outsider, it'll take you to Amazon where you can directly buy the book. You can also go to movies, TV shows, etc. And so if Beale Street could talk and you can see that you can watch on Hulu and all of that. Originally, when I created this app during my boot camp, it also had a page where you could take a quiz and it would kind of reveal your unconscious bias score. And so it would have different questions regarding just how you would react in X, Y, and Z situations. What do you think about X, Y, and Z? And it would provide a score for you and just provide you a starting point for where to start that journey. And it has an in the news feature where you can see what's happening right now currently regarding police brutality and the subject matter here and just read up on those things. However, those two features, I had to kind of put them back under construction after my bootcamp because I realized there were things I wanted to change about them. And so that's why I'm not showing you them here, but that is what the app also had. And so there are my apps, everybody. I know I told you I had four, and I do have four. I was planning to show you four. The fourth one is having trouble running. I think it's because I have not, I literally have not opened some of these projects in months and months and months. And so I think some of my programs need updating and something like that. And so it's throwing up a bunch of errors when I try to run it. So I'm so sorry, I couldn't show you it. It was a React app where people could pick, I also like makeup, and so people could pick makeup looks based on daytime versus nighttime and pick different products based on that and then shop the products, etc. So that was that app it was called Rouge, but I'm so sorry I can't just show you all. But yeah, those are my apps.
YouTube says most of you aren't even subscribed and yet I think you're enjoying my channel. So please subscribe. It really, really warms my heart to see this community grow. It also really helps support me and my channel. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see y'all later.